One thing we will say about General Hospital's Carly, very few viewers take an impartial stance where she's concerned. Most don't even classify her as a character they love to hate, instead falling very distinctly into one camp or the other. But this week, as Sonny's ex watched Drew be hauled off to prison for a crime she refuses to acknowledge having committed, a whole lot of the soap's fans lit their torches and hoisted up their pitchforks in response. Now, to be fair, this reaction has been building for a while. In some cases, years. After all, one of Carly's defining traits is a complete and total inability to accept responsibility for her own actions. In fact, it's this characteristic that inspires loyalty in some and loathing in others. If Carly ran over a bunch of nuns, tweeted at Rain Sin Mox, her fans would blame the nuns for existing. Whatever it takes so Carly doesn't have to accept responsibility for her actions. What provoked the latest round of CISD, aka Carly Industed Stress Disorder? A recent scene in which Carly, while talking to Sam, went from realizing that she completely ignored Michael and Drew's advice, which is classic me, she acknowledged, to saying that what really upset her was that Drew and I are in this position purely because of spite. Many on the internet immediately pointed out that had Carly not broken the law, no amount of spite would have landed her and Drew in hot water. Carly should have gone to jail, because she broke the law, tweeted at Wonos TV, adding that instead, the person that told her not to do it is the one doing time. Of course, it's important to note that Carly, not to mention portrayer Laura Wright, also has a whole lot of supporters, many of whom make their stance known when the rivalry between Sonny's women comes into play, which is why one recent line of dialogue gave Carly slash Sonny supporters hope that a reunion might be in the works. When Carly said she's going to get back everything she's lost, tweeted Diane Shaw, does that mean she's going to fight for Sonny? But does that mean the character should be given carte blanche to run roughshod over everyone in sight, committing high crimes and misdemeanors at will? Or might it be time for General Hospital to level the playing field a bit by allowing Carly to both acknowledge her sins and even, God forbid, suffering the consequences?